Together, trying to get it all set up, all squared away. What's up, Tim? I see you out there. Peace, Jamal. All right, you about to find what's good. What's really good, Tim? I'm about to show you what's good. <laughs> Just chilling, man. I was AZ out there. About to get the game, get this started because I don't want to go ahead and take up too much of your time. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is called, I call this segment Welcome to the Noise Box. I'm your host, Illinois, and this is the Noise Box. Basically, I'm making this, uh, this video for two reasons. Two reasons. First reason is because people always ask me, you know, where you get your sounds from. You know, um, and your process, man. How do you do this and how do you do that? So we're just going to touch bases on a little bit of that. And maybe even, I'll probably even uh, load something up, you know, um, and go ahead and make something right here on the spot and let y'all check that out. Matter of fact, I got something. Let me see. So anyway, how's everybody doing tonight? Everybody good? That's good. Glad everybody's good. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump into this, of uh, the process, the whole process of my thought process and how to, um, to get your, how to manifest your thoughts, pretty much. Because it all starts with a thought. Music is nothing but, in simplicity, I'm trying to make the simplest possible. Music is nothing but uh, vibrations, and vibrations is all around us. Everything vibrates. Everything that's alive, even stuff that's not alive, you know, um, once you move it, 
Say if I was to take this uh, pen and drop it and it begins to vibrate, then it becomes law. It becomes vibration. You know, it starts to vibrate and it starts to make a sound and sound in terms is music. You know, um, and basically a melody is nothing but sounds, individual sounds put together to make it sound like something else. So that's what we're going to dive into and that's what we're going to do. You know, uh, this evening, you know, um, for all those who want to know, I usually don't come on, you know, live and stuff like that. I usually don't. So, you know, um, the second reason I got into this is because my boy, you know, Jamal, he's AKA Granddaddy Frost, AKA Supreme, AKA the God, the be that it God, you know. Um, that's my brother, you know, and he kind of pushed, he kind of pushed it, pushed me to go ahead and go ahead and go live. He's like, yeah, you need to go live, man. You need to go live. So here it is, man. So I'm going to go live, man. So anyhow, let's see if we can go ahead and just go ahead and get into this music because that's what I do best. I'm not into this to go ahead and bore y'all with just some conversations and this, that, and the other. So, let's see. So, what I did was, I took this one. Every, like I said, everything comes from a thought. You got to think about it first. What is it, exactly it is that you want to do. And I always like to push myself. I always try to get out of my comfort zone. You know, um, basically... I've been doing this for a while. You know, I started out when I was 12 years old DJing and I'm over 50 now. So, you know, um, so I've been doing this music stuff for a long time. You know, not that's not to say that I know everything. No, I don't, but I know a lot, you know. Um, and one of the things is also, that's just a little touchback on, on my my background uh, uh, in this music stuff. But we can get into that later. Anyhow, um, as far as this music is concerned, it starts with a thought. You know, and like I said, I like to push myself, you know, um, because that's what you have to do. You have to go ahead and constantly challenge yourself. So I like to challenge myself with music. So I did that today. So I'm gonna do that today, you know, challenge myself to come up with something, you know, using something I normally wouldn't use. And today we're going to take a sample from um, Miss Etta James, one of the greats, you know. So let's see what we can come up with. With uh, with Miss Etta James, this waiting, you know, equipment I got. Yeah, it's a little old. It's outdated, you know, but I love it. You know, it's a dinosaur. I got. I'm working with the the MV8800, Roland MV8800. You know, those who have it, those who know, know, and those who don't know, wish they did. <laughs> so today we're gonna be working with that. Maybe I might turn on the motif and work with that too. Lay down some chords or something. You know, some sounds from that. Also, but everything this thing is a standalone. It's a beast, and you know, so mines. I call it the predator. So. You know, we're going to go ahead and those who've seen the Predator, you know how the Predator moves. He ain't no joke. So, here we go with this. Let's see. All right. So, here's the sample. I took it and I chopped it up. I took it and I chopped it up. And hold on. I'm going switch, to switch my audio so that way... I'm gonna run it through the um, eye rig so that way you guys can hear it clear.
All right. I don't know if you can hear me now. Can you hear me now? What I just did, I changed the quantize on it. I put a little shuffle on it, on the quantize. All right. Okay, let's add this uh Edda James in here. Let's see what's happening with that. So you just gotta mess around with it and try out different things. Yeah, I like the way that sounds. I'm going to go ahead and add that in. That's not hitting right, so I'm going to go ahead and fix that. Times what I do is I go ahead and mix on the fly. I mix right now. I start taking my stuff and I'll go ahead and lower what needs to be lowered. You know, the sample is kind of high, so right now, like I said, I'll go ahead and take what I need to lower and lower it, you know, um, and pan what needs to be panned and put it where it's supposed to be. So as I go. All right. That doesn't see it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much, you know, to go ahead and and put stuff together and to get the sound that you want. You know what I mean? It just takes like, you know, most hip hop tracks and stuff like that is usually like about um probably about 8 sounds, 8 tracks, something like that. That's about it.
You know what I mean? Because what happens is is that if you start to put too much in there, you gotta leave room for uh, you gotta leave room for the lyrics. You gotta let the stuff breathe. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be able to let it breathe and and uh, make sense. So let's see what our, our next sound is gonna be. I think that it needs a bass, something bass. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put this um let's go with it since it's since it's dating back in time with, with Edda James, let's go ahead and go with an upright bass. So yeah, we're gonna put an upright bass in it to give it that uh that back in that back in the early day um sound yeah hold up that wasn't it that was this this is it that was something else let's do let's go with that There we go. I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna go ahead and bring the sound down bring that, 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 uh, that level down on that So now what we do is gonna go ahead and go to the uh, to the motif and go ahead and upload some sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera over so that way you can see that. something like that some stabs some horn stabs or something like that to go ahead and throw that in there
go ahead and add some horns up in here. sound so let's go and see if we come up with something different Once we get all the elements together, now it's starting to go. Now you have to go ahead and, and separate the um, patterns and to go ahead and formulate your song because now everything is just sounds, everything is fighting against each other, but everything has to play a part, it has to come together. You know what I mean? Even though, you know, like in a baseball game, you got the pitcher, everybody plays a part. Nobody, the pitcher doesn't throw the ball and then try to go back there and catch it too. So you got to let them, let the players do what they do. So. Um, so each each part has has a certain job to play. So let's go ahead and start separating this stuff and put it where it's supposed to be, and go ahead and and come up with a whole song. And this we're not even so what are we like twenty minutes in, if that. So it doesn't take long. It's not that hard. You know what I mean. Let's see. Let's play with some more sounds. Let's see what we com what other sounds we can come up with. Because let's see. Let's see what other sounds we can come up with. See, I got all these. I got all these all these different sounds going on. I got all these different sounds going on right here. You know what I mean? So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back over here to the MV. Come back over here to the MV and see, uh, see exactly how we go ahead and put these sounds together to formulate the flow. Let me see. Sometimes you have to go ahead and mix different genres, different different uh, different time periods of music to go ahead and get to make it your own. You understand what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. To go ahead and mix to blend different sounds and this and the other. Bring bring the old with the new. So. What we're gonna do is 
look like this here. Let's see. Let me see. Not that. Let me check your comments. Let me see if I got any comments in here. <laughs> what up, Q? Peace, Khalid. with that so what we do is take that import that boom and that's in there you know what I mean that's in there right now so what we're gonna do is go ahead and add this to this track here boom let's go ahead and pull that up boom let's see right there <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and play with these sounds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some different effects to these sounds to go ahead and bend them and pitch them and make new sounds. So what you hear right now, you might not even hear it later. But we're going to see how that sounds with this. Everything has to have its own place. You know what I mean? So you got to listen to the track, you know, to find out exactly where to go ahead and place the next sound. You know, you can't just have it all over the place because then it won't, it just sound jumbled up. You know what I mean? It won't sound right. So you got to go ahead and while you're thinking of those things also, you got to go ahead and think about the um, lyrics. You got to go ahead and save room for the lyrics. You got to go ahead and move stuff around and and play with it don't be afraid just gotta have fun with it you know what i mean that's the whole thing is that go ahead and have fun with this stuff you know what i mean there's no set way there's no right way and there's no wrong way it's your way that's all it is you know it, it kills me sometimes people always talk about oh i got this jay dilla beat i got this uh timberland beat i got this this that and the other no that's your stuff man that's your stuff you understand what i'm saying that's your beat that's not don't 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 give the credit to somebody else you understand what I'm saying? Don't, and don't be ashamed. It's your stuff, man. Stop trying to follow behind somebody else and make somebody else make your stuff sound like somebody else. Don't do that. You know what I mean? The, the difference is, that's the biggest thing in production. Production is that anybody can go ahead and press these pads and, and make some sounds or whatever, right? But here's the thing is, is that you have to find your signature sound. You understand what I'm saying? Every great producer has his own signature sound. It's, it's, you know, that's the way that you can differentiate who made it. So as soon as you hear it, you know who made it. You'd be like, oh, that's a Dre beat. Oh, that's that's uh, that's that's a, 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 a Timberland beat. That's, you know, because everybody got their own signature sound of the way that they do certain things. So don't be afraid of, of playing around with this stuff, having fun with it, and let's go. So I got different variations of the guitar sound in here. I got You gotta just find you gotta just gotta find what actually fits. You understand what I'm saying? If you have a title, also I like to come up with titles first. I I I come up with a title and then I'll picture, you know, uh in my head video 
of what the title is and what it means and what the song is and then i can go from there then i can go usually that's how i, I normally do stuff i normally formulate like that but um today this is just a a, a, a quick uh video first video ever for me to go ahead and share with y'all my thought process and sometimes my thought process is a little crazy so you know um just bear with me and like i said let's just go ahead and have fun with it and rock with it i like the way that sounds let's see see if that works So remember I said I was going to take these sounds and, and manipulate them and, and add some effects to them. So let's see what we come up with. All right. Let's see. Let's go into this effect thing here. Let's add something. Change this up a little bit. Let's see. Go into my effects. different I got different effects here to show y'all on here there's different effects run through these and see exactly what's what show you how the sounds how these sounds get manipulated <laughs>
different things you guys could do. You know what I mean? The whole thing is that, like, like I said, to go ahead and have fun with all of this because there's so many different things that you can do. You know what I mean? Like I said, there's no, there's no right way. There's no wrong way. You know, it's only your way. And that's, that's, that's what I said. You, you can't be afraid of this. You know, stop thinking in a box. You understand what I'm saying? You got to think outside the box, man. And manipulate this stuff. I mean, we've been doing it forever. I mean, all the all the sounds and, and stuff, the music is basically you. You are the music. This stuff is just tools. This equipment is just tools that we use to go ahead and make it sound and make it do what we want it to do. You know what I mean? DJs has been doing it for the longest. You know what I mean? My man Q has been doing it for the longest. You know, mixing stuff. You know, you mix stuff, you layer it. You mix uh, uh, some house music with somebody else's vocals, you know what I mean? And come up with something new. And that's that's what we do, man. That's what you do. And pretty much that's all this is. You know what I mean? Not, not, to, not to downplay it or nothing like that, but to simplify it, it's just real simple. That's that. Just have fun. Go ahead and just go ahead and add something something random to it to go ahead and see what it sound like. Go ahead and roll with that for a minute and see what that happens. See what happens with that, you know. And uh, we can go ahead and, and manipulate it more, and we can add a low fi to it, pitch it down, pitch it up. Yo, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, and that is partially what's going on in my head. I know it sounds all like mumble jumbo, but um, we'll go ahead and arrange all that stuff and get it all together. You know, in the next segment, we'll go ahead and go about that, go about the uh, arrangements. Um, we'll get more into sound manipulation, sound design. You know, um, because you could just make anything make music from anything man there's anything i mean i could take this cup and rattle this cup if there was some ice in it but there's no ice in it right now 
So, but anyway, um, that is how you go ahead and do that. I want to take this time out to thank each and every one of y'all for joining me. You know, um, me and welcome, like I say, welcome y'all to the to the noise box. This is part one. Hopefully, it was a success, and I hope you that had much as much fun as I had. You know, um, doing this and sharing my thoughts with you guys. You know, cause like I said, I usually don't do that. You know what I mean? I usually just go ahead and make my music, stick it, stick it out, put it out there. You know, um, but nobody sees the process. You know, um, of what of what I do things and how I do things. Thanks, thanks, Jamal. Thanks, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know, so. Like I said, once again, this is Welcome to the Noise Box. I thank each and every one of you guys. I'm your host, Illinois. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and reach me, you know, um, at pitchblackmusicgroup.com, uh, pitchblackmusicgroup at gmail.com. You can go ahead and send an email there, or you can see, uh, get at me on through Messenger. You can message me. On, I'm on Facebook. Illinois is on Facebook. You know, so you can go ahead and send a message and uh, we can go ahead and get back and get ready for next week. Next week, this day, let me see, Thursday, I'm going to go ahead and try to go ahead and do this each week. Right around this time, right about 6.30. That's 6.30 p.m. on Thursdays. So make sure you tune in. I'm also on uh, YouTube. It's Illinois. It's I L L. A space space noise N O I Z E N O I Z E on YouTube. So make sure you go ahead and go on there and su subscribe. Hit that like button if you like it. You know, um, even if you don't like it, hit it. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I appreciate it. Just hit it. All right, close. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing each and every one of y'all. I wish things was different. I wish we can go ahead and meet up. You know, but I know everybody's all over the place, man, all over the world, man. But, you know, we got to go ahead and get back to that that contact, man. We all need that contact from time to time. So with that being said, Jamal, I'm coming your way soon. I don't know when, but I'm coming your way, man. All right. All right, y'all. Peace.